Hi. What I'm about to share with you is gonna change your perception about female to male attraction. These concepts have been staring at you right in the face, but you choose to ignore them. But once you understand these concepts, it'll open a whole new world of opportunity for you. But first, let us briefly discuss what attracts men. Look, I know it's a no-brainer, but this is for us to compare to what attracts women. I want you to visualize your ideal woman. No holds barred. Imagine a woman straight out of Instagram walking in your direction. Clear skin, bright eyes, full lips, shiny hair, and curvy hourglass features. Men are hardwired to judge if a woman is attractive in a split second. We are designed to be attracted to women's physicality. Because a naturally attractive woman is a biological signal that she is fit for childbearing. It's the way our ancestors detected if a woman is physically fit to spread their gene pool. As time went on, women have learned how to actively attract men through makeup, diet, clothes, all these to accentuate their feminine characteristics. While it's also true they're showing off to other women, the underlying biological imperative is there to attract potential mates. Now that we've defined what attracts men, let's compare it to what attracts women. And I'm telling you, it's an entirely different story. What attracts females is hidden beneath the surface. It's so subtle, but once you uncover this, you can easily push the right buttons and make any woman attracted to you. Now I want you to imagine what attracts women. What kind of man do you think a woman would be crazy for? Tall, handsome, fit, muscular, wealthy, kind, gentleman, romantic? Did you think of the same guy? I don't think you'd be happy or not. But in reality, these do not attract women. I know it's quite hard to believe. Because for many years, we've been bombarded of what an ideal man should be. From advertisements to TV shows to movies, the line between what is real and what is not has become blurry. I know what you're thinking, but if you ask girls what attracts them, they'd say the same thing. Handsome, muscular, rich, respectful. But here's what's bizarre about it. None of these men, these women have dated, have these characteristics. I know you've seen women with men who are in a different league. I and my friends used to call it luck. Now here's the simple truth about female to male attraction. The kind of men women emotionally respond to are not the ones they think they are attracted to. Basically what it means is that a woman is attracted to a man who is able to tap into her emotions, not to her logic. This is why people say women fall through their ears and men through their eyes. Think of dating shows. You see good looking men asking women factual questions like, what do you do? What's your hobby? Where are you from? As the date goes on, the woman seems to be enjoying herself, but in the end, we're surprised that she doesn't want a second date. Because engaging a woman like this won't spark attraction, because you're tapping on her logical side. So the question is, how do you tap into her emotion? Earlier, we've discussed about how men can be attracted to women in a split second. But for women, it can take minutes, hours, or even days. Now you might say, but women can also be initially physically attracted to men. The thing is, the whole game of attraction is different to women. A man sees a woman, decides in a split second if she's physically attractive, and then sees her as a potential mate, all happening in under two seconds. But for women, attraction has a different meaning. In fact, it's got little or nothing to do at all with physical attractiveness. What women look for in men is dominance. Women are biologically hardwired to seek out dominant males, basically the ones who are likely to stick around 
protect them and their children, and improve access to food, shelter, and other resources. So the more important question is, how do you convey that you are a dominant man in no time? Women judge if a man is dominant and hence attractive in two things, his behavior and how others perceive him. To be more precise, let's make an accurate list on what women find attractive to men. Body language, tone of voice, humor, social skills, confidence, leadership, desirability by other women, control of emotions, and being comfortable in your environment. Notice this list doesn't include physical looks and money. Instead, these traits convey dominance. It's powerful because they implant ideas to the subconscious of women. This is the reason why you see guys with women who are completely out of their league. He might be a foot shorter and fat, but maybe because he knows how to engage her emotions by sub-communicating he is dominant. Before I end this video, let me give you a simple exercise on how to successfully tap into a woman's emotion. In fact, you can try it after watching this video. I've always been amazed in the power of compliments. Use it in courtship and you can make any girl think about you for days. This one's from the book, The Machiavellian's Guide to Charm. When giving a girl a compliment, do not be direct. Instead, give her a vague and ambiguous compliment. This particular tip is called the ultimate fill-in-the-blank compliment. You can say to her, you really have something special. This one's a powerful compliment. The ambiguity will stir her emotion and imagination, and the compliment itself will feed her ego.